I'm telling you, you can make whatever kind of money you want to make. You can have whatever you want to have. You can do whatever you want to do. Like, there are no limitations. And aren't you tired? There's some of y'all out there right now. You're tired. You know, somebody telling you when to come to work. Somebody telling you when to take lunch. Somebody telling you when to do a vacation. Somebody telling you what you can and cannot do. Some of us, we were born to fly. But what I'm telling you is, when you become the right person, what I mean by the right person is, once you identify who you are and you begin to separate yourself from the masses and you begin to see your individuality when you begin to see your talents when you begin to see your personal skills all right it's like this if you ever wore a suit from the store before that's one thing but if you ever got a suit tailored are you hearing what I'm saying? If you ever got a tailored suit before, you know that it's different from going to buy a one size fits all suit and then having a suit that's tailor made. It fit different. The pants are different. But the way you walk in it is totally different. Why? Because it's fit to you. And what I'm telling you is you need to have a tailor made life. When you were created, you were created with a specific purpose, a specific design. I don't care if you was born and you know your parents didn't claim you, you still special. I don't care if your mama went in your life, your daddy went in your life, you are still special. When you were created, you were designed to do what nobody else can do. And I'm telling you, when you become the right person, when you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you follow following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. So I'm challenging you, number one, number one, I'm challenging you to define your value, right? Number two, I challenge you, listen to me. If you want to make more money, if you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. That's right, invest what? Number one, I'm asking you to invest time. I'm asking you to invest time in yourself. Some of y'all, you spend so much time with other people, you spend so much time trying to get people to like you, you spend so much time trying to fit in that you don't even know who you are. You know other people more than you know yourself. You study them, you know about them, you want to hang out like them, you want to be just like them and you know what you've invested so much time in them you don't know who you are i challenge you to spend time by yourself i challenge you to take yourself out there's some young ladies right now you fine you pretty you got it going on some brothers you handsome you suave you got swag but you know what your problem is you you you've been in one relationship after another relationship and you ain't never been in a good relationship because you don't even know you you spend so much time taking her out you spend so much time trying to impress him you spend so much time buying her flowers taking her out to lunch you spend so much time calling him you don't even know who you are. You heard what I said. You've invested so much of your time in being liked by other people, being loved by other people, being appreciated by other people, that you don't even know who you are. And I challenge you to invest time in your own self. I challenge you to get to a place when people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. E.T., I don't like the fact that you do this. I don't care. I'm not living my life for you. I'm living my life for me. 